To make GraphQL queries, we will be using the Apollo client. So let's look for that particular NPM package. So this is the NPM package that I'm looking at. Let us quickly install that. I'll copy this, go to my terminal and just execute this command so that the package gets installed. Now while this is, okay, that's already done. So maybe what we can additionally do is go inside our pages create a new products page inside that we will have index.tsx I made a mistake like so and this is a react functional component so let's quickly stub that out All right, so we have this and what we will additionally need to do is make the query inside get static props. So yes, so this is the I would say in the function or the yes the function which will be executed on the server to fetch the data because we want that data to be present before we render the page right because come to think of it you know the products page is something which you would like to have SEO compliant as well if we do it as a hook inside the component then it means that the data will be fetched during the render of the component on the client side whereas when we are doing it as get static props what we are ensuring is that this data is being fetched and the component is enriched with that data on the server side so when a crawler comes in it will understand what is happening now obviously get static props uh, return needs to return an object let us do that and it should have a props in here and we'll have products which let's just say is right now an array and let's quickly see if this is you know, kind of working for us I'll come over here and go to products okay that's a blank page that's fine I, I don't think that's a problem okay I won't get the react developer thing because this is a guest account okay all right so what i did was i actually moved on to my personal account where you know i have the developer console or the developer tools rather installed so if i now go to products page i can see the products is an empty array which means this is working now the only thing which i need to do is somehow get the graphql data at this thing right so how do we do that let's just say we initialize the graphql client and somehow we are able to make that query right so how 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 is that possible so the first thing that we need to do is let's just say we create a constant called client which is going to be apollo client okay now the apollo client needs to get certain kinds of parameters the first one is uri hmm. and the other one is obviously cache but this is somehow not giving me the proper intelligence i don't know why this is happening so apollo client doesn't i mean apollo client npm package ideally doesn't need the type definitions so oh i know why so this is going to be new apollo client and now this should work so we need to define a cache mechanism and we will take the in-memory cache which is available by default with GraphQL. It basically you know, takes care of situations where, you know, let's say very quickly multiple calls are made, right? It will detect that and it will try to fetch that from memory instead of making API calls every time. 
and when it comes to the graphql api what we will do is we will take this url and we will initialize the client with this particular url okay so now that the client is kind of ready for us we can run a query on that client how do we do that we'll use client dot query that's the method which is available okay and inside the query i can have a property called query which will use gql and something like this okay and this is where our graphql query will come now obviously this is going to be something like this it's an you know, api call at the end of the day right so now let's see if we want to fire something interesting what can we do so query products that's the basic that we want to do and let's just try this basic stuff and see whether we are able to you know get that so i'll copy this thing let's prettify this copy and i'll paste it over here right and then let's try to maybe console the stuff yeah let's do that okay and obviously that will be visible in the console because this is a server side thing but still we can hit the url and we have data data has type name product list and items this is correct so basically what i need to do is come over here and do something like constant response and what all things do we get i get data i get loading error errors quite a few things but i think for now i can just get the data stuff from here and i can console that out and my ex expectation is that the object will be visible yes so why don't we do one thing why don't we pass this over here as products get rid of this console we don't need it anymore and now if i go to my page okay i can see that the entire products thing is available maybe i will also you know drill down to items because i don't need the this type name i know what is expected so just get the product thing okay it is returning an error i think what i'll have to do is no that's a bit strange okay uh let's see what why this is complaining it is products has okay i get it products as products and then items now it should work and it does right so now i directly have products which is an array of objects and those are basically my products so this is fine i think um what we have done over here although we will look at the ui a little later but i would like to clean up my code a little bit see what is happening is first of all this entire initialization and then this query we will need to do it on in multiple places right because every page will try to fetch some information from graphql and we don't want to initialize that client every time so what i would typically do in this situations is i'll create a services folder and then inside that why don't we create something called as vendor service dot ts just to simplify things and in here what i'm gonna do is basically create a constructor i'll take this as space two i'll have to add the editor config i don't want javascripts to be with spaces four but for now i'm just going with this so i'll have a private variable and then 
inside my constructor what i can do is this dot client equals new apollo client uri cache the quick little thing hmm. apollo what was it let's quickly see okay in memory cache my bad just import this okay and update the url so then we have our constructor which is creating the apollo client and then we can have different methods available inside our services which is responsible for fetching some kinds of data so for example we do public fetch products okay it will be used to return the data i'll also type in it it will be a promise of type apollo query result okay what is happening okay yeah it won't accept it right now because first of all it needs to define the return type so constant response equals await this dot client query exactly what we have done over here right so we are actually just taking this out and putting it here i need to import this right and obviously i need to return otherwise it will continue to give me an error so this is return await this i have a saying this is all fine and inside here my code simplifies a lot i have constant gq service equals new vendor service something like that and then i can do something like constant okay actually never mind i can switch this with gq service dot fetch products okay no i'll have to let's do one thing this is going to be constant response and i don't want to you know basically complicate things and hence this is response return response dot products maybe i can do that no hmm okay let's just first of all do constant data equals this let's quickly understand what is happening over here and then we can you know, modify it that's not a big deal okay so it is not returning something which is easily parsed by graphql why why is that happening i need to check let me see so this is fetch products let me console that out is there any problem with this particular data okay this is fine and then if i do data okay so i need to console the data and also i'm passing that so i think now this is going to work no it still doesn't um why is that that's a little weird now so i have response dot when i'm looking at it right so i am getting this and then ideally i should have been able to do this but maybe with an await that's the reason i was right right so my bad this was the problem of await i was not writing the await and hence it was not able to get that so i have products and this which means now i can do something like again products dot items and i'll get the data directly over here as expected and right so inside the you know component actually i am going to get everything so for example if i quickly do something like interface what do we have products right products is an array of for now we don't have the definition so i'll do unknown okay and then i'll have to pass this over here and do products 
and quickly let's just do products dot map i have to first do a check products dot length if it is greater than zero only then do a map and product.name is something which I need to render and it is complaining right it is of type unknown so let me see if I can get that if I do any for now will this work I think it will it's a bad practice I'll have to define it but I don't want to waste time right now so let's see yes I am getting the names of all the products which we have and as you can see this basically means that you know the page component made this query to the GraphQL service we got this and you know, we returned that as a prop to our component and then that prop was used to render the data and this is what we get so that's about it guys that's what I wanted to cover in this video of you know our series where we are able to make a query to graphql api which is this an external api obviously and then we fetch that information um inside our nsjs application and then we pass it to the component and render it we, we are going to do a lot more things but yeah things are getting interested i hope you like this video if you do that do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel